Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're still new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and to your friends' friends. To your younger brothers and sisters who would want to take up engineering in the future. And to your relatives. That's one way you can keep me going inspired and refreshed. Now, if you find my videos interesting and important to your studies, also, please don't forget to subscribe. Hello, future engineers, subscriber, subscribers, and viewers. Here is another problem on complex truss. Analyze the complex truss shown by determining all member forces. The, for, the following data apply. A is 3 meters, B is 5 meters, C 2 meters, and D 4 meters. Also, P sub B is 90 kilonewtons, P sub D is 0 and P sub F 180 kN. So here is the given figure. Here are the loads. Then A is 3 meters, B 5 meters, C 2 meters, D 4 meters, D 4 meters. So we'll begin at joint C and because of symmetry, SBC equals SCD if you sum up forces horizontal. The angle is arctan of 3 over 4. So we will denote the stress in CF as Q as shown. So this is 90, 0, and 180 kN. So we will denote the stress in member CF as Q. And because of symmetry at C and F, we can easily express the other members in terms of Q. So the angle that BC and CD make with the horizontal is arctan of 3 over 4 and that is 36.87 degrees as shown. So first, emission forces Y equals 0 and considering downward as positive, take note that SBC equals SCD if you sum up forces horizontal and by symmetry. So SBC sine of 36. 36.87 degrees times 2 because SBC equals SCD. So we, that's why we multiply it by 2. Then plus Q because downward is positive equals 0. So from here, the exact value of SBC in terms of Q is negative 5.6 of Q. And that is in decimal negative 0.83333 of Q. We then move to joint B. And let's have the angle. This is also 36.87. And the angle here is arctan of 5 over 8. So 32.005 degrees. So these are the designation for the forces, stresses. Summation forces X, 0. SBE cosine 32.005 degrees plus negative 56Q cosine of 36.87 degrees plus 90 equals 0. So expressing SBE in terms of Q and the constant SBE equals 0.7861Q minus 106.13. Then summation forces vertical. So negative 56Q sine of 36.87 degrees equals SAB plus the vertical component of SBE, which is quantity 0.78616Q minus 106.13 sine of 32.005 degrees. So simplifying, expressing SAB in terms of Q and the constant. So SAB is negative 0.91666Q plus 56.248. Having no found SAB, we then proceed to joint A and designate the following stresses, forces. Of course, summation forces horizontal equals zero. So S e AX is 90 kilonewtons to the left as shown. And here are the angles. So this is 90 kilonewtons and these are the stresses computed in the preceding solution. And this vertical reaction, because this is structural theory. You should be able to check that the vertical reaction here is 33.75 kilonewtons by summing up moments about E. I'm not showing it anymore because it is a light job for students in structural analysis. So summation moment about E equals zero 
ay times 8 plus 90 times 5 minus 180 times 4 equals 0. So, you'll get 33.75 kilonewtons. And the vertical reaction here is equal to 180 minus 33.75 and it will be shown later. So, I hope that you also got this. Uh, by the way, for those who want to solve this problem, you may do so by pausing the video if you already have experience on how to analyze complex stresses. <clears throat> so, summation forces x at a equals 0. So, we have SAD cosine 32.005 degrees plus SAF cosine 26.565 degrees. By the way, this angle is arctan of 2 meters over 4, so that's why we have 26.565 degrees. Then, <coughs> equals 90. <coughs> Call that equation 1. Then, summation forces y, SAD sine of 32.005 degrees plus quantity negative point plus minus SAF sine of 26.565 degrees. Then plus quantity negative 0.91666Q plus 56.248. Then plus 33.75 equals 0. <coughs> Simplifying this equation, SAD sine of 32.005 degrees minus SAF sine of 26.565 degrees equals 0.91666Q plus minus 90. <coughs> From equation 1, expressing SAD in terms of SAF, so SAD is 90 over cosine 32.005, then minus SAF cosine of 26.565 over cosine 32.005. So therefore, SAD is equal to, from this equation, 106.13 minus 1.05475. SAF. We substitute the value of SAD into equation 2. So quantity 106.13 minus 1.05475 SAF, quantity times sine 32.005 degrees, minus SAF sine of 26.565 degrees equals 0.91666Q minus 90. <coughs> Simplifying, combining SAF, so we have negative 1.00622 SAF. Then equals 0.9166Q minus 146.248. Dividing everything by negative 1.00622. So SAF is equal to negative 0.9110Q plus 145.344. Then SAD is 106.13 minus 1.05475 of quantity negative 0.911. 0Q plus 145.344. So SAD is equal to negative 0.96008Q minus 47.172. Then we proceed to joint F. And in this joint here, if we sum up forces horizontal because of symmetry, we can conclude that SEF is equal to SAF. So that is SEF is equal to negative 0.9110Q plus 145.344. So we can now solve for Q by summing up forces vertical. So from the figure, we multiply the vertical component of SEF because it is equal to SEF. So summation forces Y equals 0. So we have Q plus 2 times SAF, which is negative 0.9110Q plus 145.344 times sine 26.565 degrees. So that's the vertical component of SAF, then times 2, then minus 180 <coughs> equals 0. So from here, we can now solve for Q. And Q so let's simplify first, 0.18518Q equals 50.001. So dividing everything by 0.18518, so Q, which is equal to the stress in, in CF, is 270.011 kN. So we can make it 270 if you want. So that's the stress in Q. Then, 
we then proceed to joint E. Let's check the equilibrium at joint E summation forces X leftward positive because everything is in terms of Q and we have found Q. <clears throat> Let's check if it is really zero. So leftward positive. So we have quantity 0.786816 Q minus 106.13 cosine of 32.005 degrees plus SEF, which is negative 0.9110 Q plus 145.344 cosine of 26.565 degrees. So let's combine first before we substitute the value of Q. So negative 0.14816 of Q, which is 270.011 plus the constant here is 40.001. And after verifying, calculating, it is almost zero or zero. So that means it is in equilibrium. Joint E is in equilibrium horizontally. Since DE is still unknown, we solve for SDE by summing up forces vertical. By the way, 146.25 is the vertical reaction here. I'm not showing it because it is a light job on your part to compute it. You just sum up. Sum up moment about A equals 0. So reaction RE times 8 equals 90 times 5 plus 180, 180 times 4 and you, you'll get 146.25 so summation forces y equals 0 sde plus quantity 0.78616q minus 106.13 time sign of 32.005 degrees then plus 146.25 then minus the vertical component of the cf so plus 146.25 equals the vertical component of SEF, which is negative 0.911Q plus 145.344 quantity sign of 26.565 degrees. Simplifying, SDE is negative 0.82407Q minus 25.002. Since we have found Q to 70.001, so SDE is negative 0.82407 times 270.011 minus 25.002 so that stress or force of SDE can now be found it is equal to negative 247.5 kilonewtons then uh, SEF which is equal to SAF can now be found we just substitute the value of Q which is 270.001 uh, let's begin with SBC which is equal to SED negative 56 of 270.001 so I'm not uh, showing the details here, but you just substitute negative 56 of 270.001, and that is negative 225 kilonewtons. Next, SAF, which is equal to SEF, is negative 0 0.9110 times 270.001 plus 145.344. I'm not also showing the details, but you can have it calculated. So it is equal to negative 100.6 kilonewtons. SAB is negative 0.91666 of 270.001 plus 56.245 and that is equal to negative 191.3 kilonewtons. SBE is 0.78616 of 270.011 minus 106.13 and that is SAD first, 0 0.96088 of 270.011 minus 47.172, and that is 212.3 kilonewtons. Then SBE, 0.78616 of 270.011 minus 106.13, and that is 106.1 kilonewtons. So to validate all these answers, let's check the last joint, which is joint D. Let's check the equilibrium of joint D. These are the angles and the stresses already calculated, actual values. So first, summation forces X leftward positive. So it is negative 225 cosine 36.87 plus 212.13 cosine of 32.005. So using your calculator there, summation forces X is almost zero or approximately zero. So okay. 
then in summation for SY, then it is negative 2, 2, 5 sine of 36.87, then minus 212.3 sine of 32.005 degrees, then minus negative, minus negative 247.5, so this is, this becomes positive. So using your calculator, summation forces y is also almost zero. So, okay, therefore, the, all these answers are correct because the last joint is found to be in equilibrium. So that's it for this problem, and I hope that you enjoyed watching and you learned something, especially for complex trust on how to analyze it. Although there's another method, method of substitute member, but this is the direct way by just uh, isolating a joint and apply method of joints until all joints are isolated and to validate the answer, check equilibrium of the joints.